there is every reason to become alert now and to, to swing into action. So. This is a very good networking opportunity. There's people from all over Europe, which is very important to see. I'm very pleased that also a lot of companies are here, um, some NGOs, uh, some other governmental agencies. Well, definitely the, the members of European Parliament I, I never meet uh, in real life, so for me it's a good uh, opportunity to talk to them. Phosphorus is important because there's no life without phosphorus, so maybe we should focus a little bit on it. Without phosphorus the world cannot uh, survive because phosphorus is needed for uh, food supply and as you know uh, people cannot do without food. Without phosphorus people will starve. You cannot substitute it. You can use it better. The major first step is actually about efficiency, on-farm efficiency, how we, how we make best use of the available resource, how we make sure the soil conditions are uh, correct for optimum soil uptake and how we uh, efficiently use the, the, uh, the products available to us already. You can definitely work more efficient. There are uh, examples in Europe where people uh, made precise fertilization and uh, created less consumption per hectare and still got better yields. Recycling really is, is very important. It's not yet an issue. Alas, we don't recycle that much yet. But as we need phosphate and we will need phosphate to feed the world, we will have to focus much more on recycling and stop wasting the phosphate into the water, into our soils. In Europe, we don't have phosphorus, so we really have to try to recycle the phosphorus that we have here in our wastes, for example. So when we started to, to use recycled phosphates, still being at a limited uh, amount because we are not having a final uh, environmental license for that, but we are allowed to do trials. So we are uh, using a few thousand tons per year, and the aim is to, by the end of this year, to increase it to something like 20 or 30 thousand tons per year. Well, we see a lot of opportunities. We see that there's a lot of demonstration projects have been developed over time. It's now time to make them bankable. And meaning bankable means not only bank financing and loans, but also equity financing. And that's an uh, important element in this phase as well. We, we see uh, every actors around the table so today and tomorrow. And we, we actually see, well, a huge opportunity for, for recyclers, for researchers, for uh, well, those who will, who will implement actually the new technologies, etc. So capacity building and etc. etc. So huge opportunity of, of creating jobs. Uh, there's bottlenecks in the food and agricultural supply chain. Around bottlenecks there are opportunities. Uh, new innovative companies and technologies that need financing and uh, we may be able to provide that. Did you sign the declaration already? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did sign it, yeah, and I hope I will be part of the platform for the future, yeah. And we need action, so we need, like what we are doing here, putting people together to try to do something. So this is the first step, and I think we can achieve a lot in the future.